What's up, everybody? It's Ricky here. Today, I would like to share with you about my recent performance at Puskas Arena Budapest. They sold a total of 42,000 tickets. It's quite impressive. My day started out flying really early in the morning from London, and this explains the lack of footage. When we arrived, there was a driver who took us straight to the venue for sound check. It was a really hot day in Budapest. It was roughly 40 degrees Celsius. Anyway, what a better time to take some shameless photo photograph. We got you. So, for this special gig, I had the privilege to play with Stu G from the band Delirious. They were pretty big back in the 90s. He was pretty iconic. Look them up. After soundcheck, we headed back to the hotel for rest and dinner. I gotta say, rest times are hard to come by for touring musicians, so we were really lucky. It's show day! We are playing your letter! That's not the venue, baby. Oh, this is not? That's not the venue. Really? The Oops. I thought that was it. The event started out from 1.30 in the afternoon. It's quite a lot of music throughout the day. As you can see, it wasn't really full in the afternoon. Also, the sun was shining at the opposite direction, so I guess no one wanted to sit there. Regardless, it looks really majestic. And this is the London Gospel Community Choir performing. They are a very joyful bunch. When it's almost showtime, we head backstage to get set up and warm up. If you want to learn my favorite guitar warm up routine, feel free to download my free ebook from the link in the description below. And it's showtime! It was quite a tight turnaround. Unfortunately, the crew patched some of our cables wrongly, and I obviously was slightly worried. However, the show must go on. Here are some live clips taken from my GoPro. background looks pretty good. Final song, final solo moment. Sadly, I forgot to turn my camera around to face the crowd. What a shame. I guess we'll have to wait and see if they release the proper video of my solo. We grabbed dinner, enjoyed some other acts, and celebrated the successful day with the organizer. Overall, it was a really nice day for me, despite the really stressful turnover and my keyboard not having any sound in the first song. It was a really great day. I got to play my solo in front of 40,000 people in bright sunny day in Budapest and play alongside two legendary artists. It was a day to be remembered. Finally, before I finish my short vlog, enjoy some pictures taken by the team at the festival. See you again next time. Bye!